The Z9 is capable of recording in analog to maximize its dynamic range for post production. It can also record in SDR for a fast turnaround edit. Analog may be recorded in several codecs, namely NRAW, ProRes RAW, ProRes 422, and H265 10 bit. In this tutorial, we shall walk through two methods of handling analog footage in DaVinci Resolve. Over here, you can see that we have already pre-loaded two clips onto our timeline and we are now operating in the color page of Resolve 17. If we take a look here, this is the correction notes and they can simply be viewed as adjustment layers. Everything is non-destructive and they can be reversed anytime. On the bottom left here would be the clips. Simply click on them to select which clip to work on. And over here would be the color correction or grading tools. And there are several of them. And finally over here are the scopes. And of course there are several options as well. Now we shall work on the first method, the use of a lookup table or LUT. Simply right click and add a serial note. And while this is selected, simply click and drop the Z9 N log 4 to Rec 709 LUT file into this last node. You will notice that this originally flat image has instantly transformed into a more accurate image. And this is the exact purpose of the LUT file. Always put the LUT file as the last file and do all your corrections prior to that. This will ensure that some of the contrast and whatever settings in the final LUT file will not be affected. So if you look at this and we can turn on and off so whatever adjustments or corrections that you want to make, it can be done before this. Now we shall look at the second clip and do the same thing. Add a serial node and drag the LUT file into it. Name it as LUT as well. But now we notice an issue. The highlights roll off from the sun is very harsh if you compare it to the original log image. And there are two ways to overcome this. One is to manually it and the second which is what we shall discuss next first we shall delete everything and restore the footage to the original state all right we have now got our flat log image so start by clicking on the project settings and over here click on color management and under color signs Click on DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. Leave the color processing mode as SDR and output color space as Rec 709. Click Save and the first thing you shall notice is the image is now looking correct. But what's more amazing is that this second image which had a very harsh highlight roll off is now looking very good. The reason is DaVinci Resolve has correctly interpreted the color space and transformed the image. There is a mathematical difference which I shall not elaborate but we just have to know that this is a more accurate method to use a color transform and this has now got us at a much better starting point as compared to method 1. From here, simply do the same thing, do all your adjustments Alright, so here we're just playing with some of the mid-tones, the highlights and the shadows and uh, yeah, we can see the difference in the image, maybe it's a bit too contrasty You can take it up a little Alright, so if you're happy with that, simply click on the Deliver tab and render it out. So there we have it, the analog post-production workflow.